Hi and welcome. This is how we choose to build the hard dodger for our boat. This is not an instruction video. You can do this in many different ways. Follow this project from fabric dodger to hard dodger on our boat. We start to do the model with just two uh, pieces. One to see how angle will be for the windows and one to see how high we want the roof. Uh, and after the, we decide the two pieces, we start to do the model around it. We started with a frame in the bottom so we had something to build the model on. We chose to do that because it will be a loose part to work with later. And we did not need to screw any parts in the cabin top. This is the first model build of free, so it did not work okay directly. This is model number two. It starts to look really, really nice, I think. We do the first thing uh, for a couple of days, and then we go home, and, th and, and in the evening we think, ah, this is really good. But uh, when we go home and um, have a sleep, and then come back, and say, oh no, this is crap, and we redone everything again. Uh, the most important thing we change is this part, because on the first thing, we uh, the model will go down here, and um, you see, like this, because we think we should follow this uh, line on the boat, but when we do that, it will be really clumsy. So um, we take away everything and take, take away this one, put everything together again, and then we were satisfied with it. Uh, it was not that just to cut it off here. We need to take everything away. <laughs> yeah. So it was a lot of job, but it was really worth it because now it's we like this line now. So yeah, I think we do the di right decision. If you have the same uh, radius on the bottom as on the top and hand then the roof will be like uh, around the top. Should be really strange thing to look at. That's why we looking for this corner. So we could drag it out in the in the top and have the, the angle of the window in the front. And, yes. you, and you need to have the same radius over the whole place when you're bending the windows. That's also a, 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 a thing to think about if you do something like this. Because you can't bend a window, this type of plexiglass, in two directions. You need, uh, you need, it's like to bend it in a paper. You can bend it one way, but you can't do a... A, a ball of it. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> like a um, ball of it. So that's one of the problems we have to figure out the, that. So this is one of, the, one of the hardest. It looks easy now, but we, when we build it, it was one of the hardest thing to come up with. So it followed the lines of the, the design of the boat and then our design of the 
of the hot hot top. It's a lot of measuring and thinking. Take away the piece, cut off a little bit, back to the boat, measuring not really good, take it down again, cut a new bit and back. A lot of times until we are satisfied with the design. When we were satisfied with the design, we went home. The next day we took the trailer with us and surprisingly we were still satisfied with the design. A new exciting moment are in front of us. Unload the model, put it on the trailer and bring it home. This is one of the reasons why we chose to build the model like a loose piece. We can bring it home when we do dirty job like grinding, fiberglass, paint and so on. In that way we don't risk any damage on the boat. The model is quite heavy, we use the boom and the halyard to lift it off the boat in a secure way. It was a little bit tricky to get it on the trailer and secure it. But everything works well and we bring the model home so we can start the next stage, prepare the model for fiberglass. See you in the next episode when we show you. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up and give us a comment.